welcome you all to the agrivision for you youtube channel my name is piyush ulivkar and today we are going to discuss the uh, gate 2022 xc paper particularly fluid mechanics so uh, let us talk about the first question and in this question it is written that a heavy horizontal cylinder of diameter d supports a mass of a liquid having density rho as shown in the figure so as shown in the figure we can write it as this is the cylinder and this is the liquid here it is mentioned that its diameter is d and the density of liquid which is present here having rho as the density okay so the volume of this particular solid body which is submerged can write it as like this and here they uh, told us to find out the vertical component of the force exerted by the liquid per unit length per unit length that means the extension of this cylinder will have length l okay and it has value of 1 per unit length mm, so gravity it will have so we have to calculate the vertical component so what we have to do we have to just balance the vertical force with the uh, weight of the li uh, liquid weight of that uh, particular liquid submerged by the particular solid body that is the cylinder so i can write it as vertical vertical component equal to the weight of the body uh, the the weight of the uh, liquid on the volume which volume submerged volume so that means we can write it as uh, vertical force that is fv will be equal to weight of the liquid that is mg and we can write it as mass as density into volume into g density into what will be the volume of the submerged volume i need to find that submerged volume so that means if i consider the whole volume whole cylindrical volume so that means it is the pi by 4 d square into length l divided by 1 by 2 so that it will have half of the volume into g okay so in this case the uh, value of l will be 1 since it is given and we can directly find that value as okay so let me check here so it it is coming pi by 8 rho square g so i guess b um, may be answer okay so very straight forward answer no need to do any uh, just uh, high level of calculations on all one mark question was there okay so let us move to the next question okay so the figure shows the developing zone and the fully developed region in a pipe so this is a pipe here it is given that this is a pipe and in that particular pipe they have mentioned the developing zone like this so i hope you uh, know the concept of the developing and the developed region so this is the flow initially the velocity will be constant here let's say u not or u infinity that will be the constant velocity but after that there will be the boundary layer effect in the uh, particular pipe and therefore here this region will be known as the developing region and this region will be known as developed region developed and developing okay so two types of uh, regions will be there <coughs> so if i talk about the developing region if i only talk about the developing region if you clearly observe that you can see that 
it will behave as a flat plate case this is a flat plate and here the flow is coming external flow okay so boundary layer is forming here and uh, at some place i can write it as delta and this will be in the positive x direction this is a leading edge and this is a trailing edge so if you consider the case of plate this developing region will exactly behave as the particular case of the flat plate okay so you no need to worry about anything just uh, imagine that particular region as a flat plate case and then apply the formula what they asked in the end the wall shear stress in the sections a b c d are given by tau a tau b tau c and tau d so select the correct statements so that means particularly if you observe they ask at point a at point b at point c and at point d if i talk about the uh, normal shear stresses wall shear stresses particularly so we have the uh, formula for the wall shear stress as k mu u infinity divided by delta okay so that will be your formula for the wall shear stress particularly and what do you mean by k here so k is a function of velocity profile like the value of k will be one in case of the value of k will be equal to to in case of parabolic okay so likewise according to the different different velocity profile the value of k will change so you know the mu you know the u infinity and you know the delta so uh now let us consider that for the case uh, of the laminar flow okay so we we will first discuss about the laminar flow and in that laminar flow we know blochius we will consider that the blochius statement okay so that is the blochius result for the delta now if you put this equation here you will get assume that uh, the k mu u infinity everything is constant except that delta so after putting you will get phi u x under root of r e x now further if you solve this rho u x by okay uh, sorry divided by phi of x okay so again these things are constant here these things are constant again i can write it as under root of x divided by x and again 1 by under root of x so what i can find here i can find that the wall shear stress will be directly proportional to the x power minus 1 by 2 blochius um, i i derived this particular thing from the blochius result for the laminar flow in case of turbulent flow if you solve it Uh, you will get the wall stress stress will be proportional to x power minus one by five like that. Okay, in the range of minus one point five. To draw this diagram, particularly here, so you can observe that the shear stress according to the x direction is continuously decreasing. Okay. so the value is continuously decreasing here this is the wall shear stress will be proportional to x power minus 1 by 2 okay so as you can see that this is continuously decreasing so can you tell that up to this developing region the wall shear stress at a will be greater than b as you can see clearly that the wall shear stress is continuously decreasing in the x direction so it will decrease continuously in the developing zone and we can say that the wall shear stress at a will be greater than b so this is the first conclusion we made now the second statement is about the c and d so what about c and d in the fully developed region so in the fully developed region since the velocity profile is not changing you will get the constant wall shear stress at particular point c and particular point d 
so that means the wall shear stress is continuously changing in the developing zone and in the developed zone there is no chance uh, for uh, wall shear stress to change okay so according to me that particular a will be your final answer since this is not a uh, msq type of question okay mm, so uh, answer a will be correct according to me okay so let's move to the next question okay so in this particular question um it is given that physical phenomenon is given and uh, we have to uh, just relate the things like reynolds number to the different different things are given so let's focus on the reynolds number first so reynolds number as we know the definition of the reynolds number is inertia force discuss words so first of all i will just uh, write all the definitions and then i will tell the final answer so this is the fraud. so fraud number will be equal to since it is given here that the inertia forces inertial forces by gravitational forces okay so now third is mac number so mac number uh, we have the uh, <coughs> speed of object divided by the speed of sound the fourth one is weber number weber number is related to the surface forces so that means here it is the inertial forces surface forces so uh, now it will become very easy for us to relate the things like reynolds number is related to the not only inertia force but also viscous force also so since here in the option 3 it is given the viscous drag okay so that means we can relate the first option with the viscous drag that is the third then uh, here fraud number is given fraud's number is given and it has definition of the inertial forces divided by the gravitational forces so in that case um, if you solve the problems in the similitude then you can directly answer it as the wave drag because it is related to that only uh, since the fraud number we use that fraud particular fraud number one minute where the objects are floating okay like ships and all so it is uh, literally related to the wave drag now if i talk about the mac number we use the concept of mac number mostly where the compressibility involves like at very high speed um let's talk about the aeroplane so in that case the velocity is very high and that aeroplane has to deal with the compressibility of the air so in that case we will use the mac number so it is related to the compressible flow and then if i talk about the weber number weber number is related to the surface forces and the surface tension if i talk about it is the surface tension forces and spray formation is related to somewhat this particular weber number so in that case uh, you will get your required answer so now let's move to the next question in this question it is given that as temperature increases the dynamic viscosity of the gas increases dynamic viscosity okay so first of all you should know the basic thing about the uh, liquid and the gas uh, if i talk about the dynamic viscosity the dynamic viscosity of liquid dynamic viscosity of gas is 
okay so if i talk about only liquid so in that case when we increase the suppose this is a liquid and if i increase the temperature so what happens the molecular forces of liquid will be start collapsing okay so the molecules will try to go away from each other that uh, the the forces between the molecules will decrease so it will lead to decrease the viscosity when the temperature increase and in case of gas if if there is a gas here in the room and if i increase the temperature if i increase the temperature of the gas so what happens uh, this this particular if i talk about the particular one atom the temperature the the heat energy will increase its kinetic energy it will go here and there it will go here and there and it will collide with lots of molecules here in the room so that will eventually increase the viscosity okay so therefore we can say that as the temperature increases the dynamic viscosity of liquid decreases and the as temperature increases the dynamic viscosity of gas increases okay so we will check about the first option so dynamic viscosity no it is wrong dynamic viscosity of yes dynamic viscosity no it is wrong and the dynamic viscosity of gas decreases so it is also wrong so that means this sent sentence is correct option b is correct option okay so i hope this is very easy question